Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting video on my channel and as you can see by the title and the look in my face I am very excited at the moment because I just saw on Twitter that Marvel or Netflix, whoever, has just released the first teaser trailer for Daredevil Season 3 and yeah, I'm really excited. This is just a teaser, so I'm not expecting too much, but I'm I'm uh, looking forward to it. Now, Daredevil is one of those shows, one of the very few shows that I still watch, especially on Netflix. I, I used to be really into Netflix, not as much anymore. Uh, there's quite a few reasons why I don't watch Netflix that much anymore. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. One of the big reasons is because they fucking increased the amount of they increased the price per month, which was just stupid, so it was, because, like, they're not producing that much more content. And here's the thing. All the content they produce independently, I don't really care for. I usually just like all the old stuff they have. Uh, Daredevil's, of, of course, the exception, and I'm really excited for that, like, more than anything else. Um, but, like, a lot of the shows that they do, I just don't really care for. And, and the movies as well, I just don't really care for. Yeah, that even goes to the, the Marvel stuff. I'm a big Marvel fan. Uh, love all the M well, most of the MCU movies. Uh, I just saw Ant Man and the Wasp recently, and that was actually pretty good. I enjoyed that. But a bit of a different tone, though, because um, Ant Man was really uh, just a comedy. To be honest, it was quite light-hearted. Uh, Daredevil, on the other hand, is it's a bit deeper, put it that way. Um, and I'm really looking forward to this. Now, I I'm a big Daredevil fan. Decent amount of the comics. Uh, a lot of the more recent comics, of course, have been quite excellent. A lot better than some of the other Marvel stuff that's been going around recently. Uh, but I'll, I'll just leave it at that. But Now, like I said, I'm not really into the other shows as much. Like Punisher was quite disappointing. That was one that I was really looking forward to, and that was pretty poor. Uh, Luke Cage was okay. Iron Fist was okay. Jessica Jones, the first season, was alright. But I don't really care that much for, for any of the other shows. Uh, the first... The first season of Daredevil was brilliant. The second season was really good as well. But um, the Defenders, which, like I said, is sort of where this... It was sort of like a bridge between season two and season three. Was a bit of a letdown for me. Like I enjoyed certain elements, but I don't think it's as bad as some people say. But it could have been so much better, if I'm being honest. Like I could do a whole video on that. Like Maybe I will, like why the Defenders were such a letdown. But there's already numerous examples, to be honest. Yeah, season three, I'm really hyped for it. Uh, the last two seasons, like I said, were great. Um, so yeah, let's watch. I'm really excited. All right. I once let's believed that justice would be found in a court of law. <sighs> in the light of day. There we go. And I was fooling myself. Darkness only responds to darkness. And the truth is, I'd rather die as the devil than live as Matt Murdock. Well done. Please don't tell me that was it. Please tell me there's a little bit more. That was it, wasn't it? Fuck hell. That was good. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting too much from the teaser, but it looked pretty good. Uh, what can I say? Nothing's really revealed, to be honest. I mean, it's a bit unusual how he's wearing the 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 costume from season one. I don't know if that's I don't know if it's supposed to be a flashback scene or if this is a scene that that takes place during season three. Um, if anyone's seen Daredevil, now I'll, I'll get into a little bit of spoilers for the first two seasons and Defenders, obviously. But if anyone's not seen uh, those shows. I do highly recommend them, especially if you've got Netflix. It's one of the best things on Netflix. Seriously, watch it, and especially if you if you if you're a big fan of, of like superhero stuff, this is a little bit different. It's not quite like if if you're a big fan of Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, Batman and all that. It's a little bit similar, but it's a bit different. Uh, yeah, it's it's more it's closest to Batman than anything else, but it's even that it's, it's a bit different from to be honest. But regardless. You know, no matter what happens, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, the next season. Uh, if you've enjoyed this little reaction video, uh, and you want me to do more, uh, of course I can. 
uh, I'm planning on maybe doing another one when the, the official trailer comes out. Of course, this was just a teaser. When the official trailer comes out, I'm, I'll, I'm planning on doing another uh, more analytical type video where I, I, I analyse it and talk about it, give my thoughts on it. Um, and I might do it with some other stuff. Obviously, I did the, uh, the Comic Con video a while back. But I'm planning, and New York Comic Con's coming up as well soon, so I might do a video for the, some of the stuff revealed there. Um, Captain Marvel, I think, is going to get revealed soon, the trailer. Uh, and and a, a few other things as well. So I'm planning doing a video for that, so that should be interesting. But if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Um, you know, if you haven't subscribed already, you know, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot more content now. Uh, so I am, so subscribe and... You'll get to see my lovely face every week or so, which, you know, um, will be a big plus, I'm sure. Uh, and until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.